Hello everyone, this is another comparison video. Today we're going to be comparing Ants. VHS to Ants on DVD. So let's get started. Before we get started in this video, I've noticed that I did two other comparison videos. And I need your comments down below if you want to continue seeing these or not. I don't know. People might not be interested in seeing these, but after you guys after you guys watch this one, you might be interested and you might you might say, I want to see some more of these. Because it's getting now to the points where people across the country are having problems playing back VHSs. So, because keep in mind, there's a v, there's a VHS player shortage, which is known as the VCR or VTR, and they're having problems with uh, with finding them these days, the used ones, which means that the prices are going astronomically high, and people are not paying those high prices because, for one thing, they have to. For one thing, it seems like people are paying a premium to have a DVD recorder. So, but however, most of the times you buy used DVD recorders and they work for like, you can get like three or four years out of them and then they quit working. I saw, I saw somebody about four, about four or five months ago, I saw somebody buy one. They paid thir they paid like thirty five dollars for it, and they got like they got like four months out of it. Come on, guys! If you know your DVD recorder's been played and used a lot, don't try to push that on somebody else. But that's what I've noticed, though. So let's get into this, though. DVD players they still make a note, so we should be able to play this one back, no problems asked. That's the thing I forgot to make in the other comparison videos. How are you going to be able to still be playing them or not? So VHS is question 20 years from now is going to be questioned. DVD in 20 years from now won't be questioned because they still make in those players. So, however, so you can see here on the VHS, they have PDI, the company that produces the cleaning products. They must have worked on this film. The PDI Santa cloth the bleach wipes the wipes that they use in hospitals the the purple tops or the orange tops as they call them nowadays so ants every ant has his day as you can see here on the dvd it is not listed on the front so the vhs looks like it might be better after all see how he's kind of like that they changed the artwork to show them looking like that and then there's a B up at the top. For some reason, there's no B on the VHS. So I'm not understanding why. And then, of course, on the side, the DVD is like that. You got the little hooligan up there fishing away. You know what they say. You can find, um, there's always more in the pond uh, to get. You can see the catalog numbers, 84199, 83668, different catalog numbers. There's the two, two thumbs up, which I don't know why they say that. Very smart and very funny. It's almost like the Meg the Vox slogan, very smart. No, it's smart, very smart kind of dumb though because half the products that make the box puts out is junk anyways so there's the pdi logo all the way down at the bottom of the bottom of the back of the dvd this happens to be a 2002 release copy so you know this film came out really a long time ago so it came out in 1998 or 99 i've been feeling it was a 1999 year it's the year I was born, though, unfortunately. So. 
as you can see here, believe it or not, the ISBN numbers are almost the same. If they weren't for the last three digits, they would be identical. So that's how that's how DreamWorks has their has their stuff running. Very close. So there you go. You got the same got the same wording, same font. As you can see, they're in the same picture frame. I rarely do that, though. As you can see, they use some of the same artwork. The B was on the front, if you don't remember, on the front here of the DVD. So, and then you got the special features, which are non-existent on the VHS. Two thumbs up is all the way down there at the bottom of the VHS, so everything is different. You would think that they were, you know, releases on two different platforms. you think they'd be released at the same time period. They'd have the same. they look, both of them would look the same, but apparently not. You can see here on the DV VHS, they got one proof of picture sticker. DVD's got two. And we're going to look at the DVD inside the case. So there's nothing in here to send in the mail. I don't know why they would need two proof of purchase stickers i don't know why they would need that there's nothing in here and by the way i did buy this used you would think that the past person that owned this that originally bought this you think they would have left all the stuff in here they weren't going to use it so considering that there is no sticker taken off there i'm assuming that they just took that stuff and threw it away which really is bad for the environment they could have just left it in there now, for example, the VHS, unlike the DVD, actually has a print date, and it's this full frame. December 7th of 1998, which would make this a really early pressing if you were collecting 1998 movies. So, it's a really early pressing, and by the way, I apologize for the clamshell case being in such horrible shape. The people that own this for me, I, this is a used copy, I never... Keep in mind, I wasn't alive when these movies were coming out, so. Especially the um, Dog Mia, or the other movie I, I'm planning on showing in the future. I wasn't alive when that movie came out. But keep in mind, my family was really poor. We only had VHSs. We didn't get our first DVD player until like 2003, the late part of 2003. Every every machine we had before that was VHS. It was a VCR. So, and we ended up going with the Shichiba, which I'm going to do a review of that in the future. So you guys will be happy to see that. I know you will. You guys are dying. I can see. I can see my viewers going, going. I want to see that so badly. I can see them now. And remember, though, you take your alderies and you, when the, when you hear the hurricanes coming on through, you take your alderies and you put them on on the beach. That way, they can get blown away. So, that's got nothing to do with this video. So, however, though, I did notice this though the difference. So I did point out all the differences I noticed, but I did notice this. It says DreamWorks Animation at the top. It doesn't even mention that anywhere on the VHS, anywhere. Look at that. Where does it mention that? Home Entertainment, Pictures. No, no animation, nothing. You see that? It does not say DreamWorks Animation anywhere. It says DreamWorks Home Entertainment. It says DreamWorks Pictures. No freaking does away say DreamWorks Animation. And then it says, from the Academy Award winning studio that brought you Shrek. It doesn't even say that on here either. Because I think I know why. Because Shrek didn't come out yet. That's how you can tell that this is a reissue. Even though that this movie came out in 1998. Keep in mind, folks. Shachipa launched the first... Um, VHS, no, first DVD player in November. We've come across now 
25 years it's been since 2021 in November. It would be 25, 27 years now. We've been using DVDs now for 27 years. The rest of the world has. I should say the rich people have. So, if you find this fascinating, these comparisons, please like the like button and click the subscribe button down below. As you can see, before Mrs. Hanky would really like that. So, as always, we're coming to the end of this video, and thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And sponsored by Shichiba Leading Innovations. Super Saturn Productions.